Welcome, Libra. A little Palo Santo to cleanse your energy along with my space in between these readings. I just did one reading for us. But my spirit guide said, one more, one more before the night is through. So Libra, my friends, this is for you. Okay, this is really funny because I'm using completely decks of, complete different decks of cards for this reading, right? We're going to get the energy around you with the energy oracle. Then we're going to get your fortune with the fortune cards. I've shuffled each deck six times. We'll shuffle once more on camera to get your energy into the cards. We have the king, authority and diplomacy at the bottom of the fortune cards. And it's giving me very much like these kings that are around you right now, Libra. That king of swords I just finished the reading about. And then this king of pentacles that kept coming up in that reading. Then we'll finish the reading with messages from our mystic Martian friends. First, what is the energy surrounding Libra? First message, magic. Possibly in the mirrors. Time to clean your mirrors, Libra. Keep the good feng shui flowing. Clear. Organizing your places of residence. What is the energy around Libra? Oh, Libra. First card out. Envy. Envy around a new contract. This could be business or love, Libra. Envy around how adored the Librans are or have become. Simple as that. This person feels lackluster compared to the golden energy that is around you. They could step into it themselves, but they choose to be more dark. That's their choice. They're mad at Libra for, for living your life like it's golden. What is the energy around Libra? Thank you, Spirit. Whoa, that's a lot. Too many. Top card. Healer of the ages. Yep. Jesus, Yeshua, was a very loved but very hated in the end for being a great healer, right? Loved and hated. You could have healing abilities, Libra. You're, I'm hearing your strategy is impeccable. Your word is impeccable. Your work ethic is impeccable with the strategy card at the bottom. Whew. Woo. You have the attention of a very wealthy uh, woman or this is who you are, who you are becoming, feminine Librans. That lucky black cat with those piercing gold eyes. Again, with that golden energy. That cat has gold eyes. All black with gold eyes. Gorgeous. You're becoming a woman of wealth, Libra. The door to spirit seems to always be open for you. We have the door to spirit card at the bottom that connection and that connection is bringing you in wealth i'm hearing it goes hand in hand because i'm looking now at the healer having both of his hands out and palms like this i'm hearing it goes hand in hand living your life purpose and beginning to live your life purpose will bring you prosperity if you're doing the right things it goes hand in hand yes yeah your strategy also the angels are blessing 
your strategy at this time. They could be sending really lucrative ideas to you. Log them. It says journal, log, write these ideas that come to you down, Libra. Capitalize off these ideas. Something's being unlocked for you. The key is in the lock. Twenty one strategy. Really quick. What does this say? Making a plan. When you receive this card, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thought to action. Set your sights on the road ahead. Message Libra. Yep, on the road ahead, you're going to have some decisions, some different possible paths you can choose from, Libra. That's indecision at the bottom. Let's keep moving. Let's keep drink of water. Libra. Libra's fortune at this time. The stars. A long journey brings rewards. Second time I've seen that card. A long journey brings rewards. Libra's fortune. Look, it's back out with air. Oh my gosh. Cannot make it up. The stars came out with air, Libra. A long journey brings rewards with the stars. And air says, seek a union of mind, body, and spirit. Look at these gorgeous cards for you. Air and the stars. The stars reside in the air, Libra. You are stars. The stars reside amongst you. <sighs> oh, look what's at the bottom. The spirit. Unseen forces watch over you. Beautiful Libra. One more card, Fortune, for Libra, please. Thank you, Spirit, so much. One more Fortune card for Libra, and then we'll pull a Mystic Oracle. One more Fortune card for Libra. And this one. The Sun. Your perseverance is rewarded. With the maiden at the bottom, a new relationship blossoms. Wow, Libra, the sun, your perseverance is rewarded. And look at that scarab beetle with the wings towards the sun. It's almost giving me like Phoenix rising energy, Libra. You did this. You're doing it. You get it. You got it. Oh my gosh. Yes, Libra. This is such a good reading. If you found messages here, give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans. All right. We're starting with a third eye card. This wild woman. It says visions manifesting meditation, Libra. One mystic card for Libra. 
mystic message for Libra, please. Almost. Mystic message for Libra. Yay, Libra, one of my favorite cards. Yes. The Galactic Federation. You are so supported. Do you have any idea how supported you are? Master number 22. Collaboration, meetings, and community. Let's read about it. The Galactic Federation is watching Libra. The Galactic Federation of Light was founded over 4.5 million years ago to prevent interdimensional dark forces totally dominating our Milky Way galaxy. They are benevolent beings of many star systems that travel to many galaxies and in some cases multiverses. Yes, Libra, the star card. Their mission involves peacefully carrying out cosmic assistance to all willing beings, facing faded and unfaded cosmic phenomena. The Galactic Federation intercede with Earth Councils, Solar Councils, and with ascended masters. Oh my gosh. Okay, it just said solar councils. They travel many star systems, the stars, and they converse with the ascended masters. Christ consciousness, Yeshua. Libra, you cannot make this up. Houseway. They are generally based in the Sirius star system and travel throughout the galaxy, universe, and occasionally beyond. Remember, multiverses and beyond. They have over 200,000 members from countless planets. They have enormous fleets of starships at their disposal with highly sophisticated, sentient, interdimensional technology. The motherships are self-contained worlds. I've been on an ark in a dream. I've been on an ark. Their ships can dematerialize or cloak if need be. They have been visiting Earth for millions of years with strong ancient connections to the Terra human species. Libra, this is about collaboration, community, Teamwork, travel, meetings, alliances. Get ready to meet these galactic alliances, my friends. I love you, Libra. 